Hope you have all read my blog and had a really good go at this question. Right, I'm going to go through now and hopefully you've got the same answers as me. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up the T accounts. So we've got a cost account. And the original cost of the machinery was £20,000. Then I'm going to set up an accumulated depreciation account. And this has been depreciated £2,000 per year over three years. So the brought forward figure on that will be £6,000. Then we're going to set up a disposal account, which is the most important thing. So the machinery originally cost £20,000. We want to remove all trace of that machinery, so we've got to credit the cost account to get rid of it. So we're going to credit it to the disposals account of 20,000. See now we've got an equal and opposite debit and credit so the cost has been removed from the accounts. So from the cost account we're going to end up with a debit in the disposal account of 20,000 pounds. Then we need to remove the accumulated depreciation. So we've got a credit of 6,000 pounds. We're going to debit this to the disposals account and you can see I'm using the name of the other account that the other side of the transaction goes to so you can trace their transactions through the ledgers so that's going to be a credit in the disposals account from accumulated depreciation that's going to be six thousand pounds we were then told in the question that we received fifteen thousand pounds in cash for the asset so when you set up the bank account so when you receive money put it in your bank account, you're increasing the asset of money in your bank account. So we're going to debit the bank account with £15,000. And the other side of that is going to go to the disposals account. So the other side has to be a credit, as we know. So from the bank, we're going to credit that with £15,000. Now, a quick bit of mental arithmetic will tell us that this side is the larger side. This balances off £21,000. So the profit or loss must have to go on this, the debit side of the disposal account to get it to balance. It's going to have to be £1,000, and that is the profit on disposal. So that balances off £21,000. So we've got a debit in the disposal account of £1,000. The other side of this must be a credit. And remember, income is a credit, so we've made a profit.